And this morning, Kevin O'Neill is out in Wyoming County, my old stomping grounds. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Good morning. Hey, do I look do I look tan back from the honeymoon? You look, look fantastic. Tan? I don't know. You got a glow. Rested. Yeah. Looking good. Thank, yeah, I, I want. Thanks. I wanted to go to Niagara Falls, but she wanted to go to the Caribbean, so we compromised and did what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Aruba, I'm glad to be back here in beautiful uh, Warsaw, New York. This is a great man. Seth Gates in the 1830s had a pretty remarkable idea that some other people had that slavery is wrong. And he was a politician who eventually moved to Leroy and he was, uh, uh, his house got burnt down uh, because of what he stood for. And so he came to Warsaw, New York. And he came to Warsaw because there were a bunch of other radicals that also had the crazy idea that slavery is wrong. And here to talk more about it is my friend George Almeter. How are you? Nice to see you, George. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, the Liberty Party, let's talk about its founding. What is the Liberty Party? Well, it was a political party back then. <laughs> let's walk over there. Okay, go ahead. Well, well, whose sole platform was the abolition of slavery. Okay. And uh, there were quite a few people uh, in Warsaw. Well, Warsaw only had a population of 1,200 uh, residents at that time. But mm -hmm. So there were some, there were a few people who uh, were interested in uh, uh, creating a club-like atmosphere to mm -hmm. discuss all of these issues. Don't forget the Civil War was the 1860s. We're right. talking 1830s, 1830s, a generation ahead of time. Right. Talk about this, this amazing uh, item here. Well, this is uh, an uh, American citizen uh, anti-slavery newspaper that was published in Warsaw in 1838 by Andrew Young. And again, this was uh, uh, just from these small group of people who sort of got together and said, we really want to get this ideology mm -hmm. out there, not only for Warsaw, but for the surrounding community. I'm short on time, George. So what I want you to know is that the first political party formed that was anti-slavery was in Western New York. It was called the Liberty Party, based in Warsaw. For more information on this historic museum, uh, warsawhistory.org. Have a great weekend. Wow. I'll see you next uh, week. All right. Kev, Great. Thanks. Thanks, Kev. Did yeah. you? I did not know that. You probably knew that. I did not know that. I lived in Warsaw for a short time when I worked in the radio station down there. CJ Country. Morning, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd's the general manager and owner. Yeah, I got it. So, there you go. <laughs>